Hi everybody, this is Pam at the Paper Outpost and I've got something really fun and simple for you today that uses up book pages and creates a page layout design. It's the Triple Heart Pocket Towering Pockets and uh, I got this idea. I was very inspired by my friend Cheryl. She uh, uh, gave me this fantastic idea. She made some of these and I thought they were so cool. I just wanted to share my take on this idea with you guys because I think it was awesome. So thank you Cheryl for that and uh, Cheryl and um, here's uh, how you can do it. Uh, so I'm just opening up to a random book page here and these heart pockets can be uh, glued down on the sides to a page and then you can tuck sort of uh, cute little thingies in there to decorate them up and these are just some things I've made in the past just decorated playing cards okay and you can decorate both sides or just a, a little half tag there another little playing card that's decorated very cute and this is what it looks like when there's nothing in it you could leave it blank like that for somebody to fill up on their own and it's a very very simple process so let's make these these are fun all right okay the eagle is going down all right the eagle has landed all right so here we go what you need are three different uh, pieces of paper or book pages either will work and i'm going to use something similar to these so i'm going to just grab three random pages this book page uh, edith holden page and a coffee dyed uh, college rule paper i'm going to put my little prototype over there so i know where it is I'm going to take away the pretty paper and reveal actuality okay Here's our working surface. Very well-loved working surface. I don't know how everybody else keeps their mats so clean. Um, it's lost on me for sure. Okay. So basically what you want to do is you want to pick out the images that you want to use or the pages and then you want to fold them in half and you want to put what you want to show. So do I want this guy's butterfly to show? Um, maybe I'm going to make one about like this and I would say um, my book pages are about five and a half inches wide so I want to make something that's a little smaller than five and a half inches but you tailor it to the size of the width of your book page um, you can just make sure it's a little bit smaller would be helpful okay so I'm gonna say here and this is each one of these squares is an inch one two three four so it's about four inches four four and a half inches will work uh, for my five and a half inch book page so I'm gonna go there it's going to be the first one and you're going to be number two so we'll just make sure you're long enough okay you're long enough or wide enough okay and then uh, this last one let's see what side we want to use okay I think we're going to put you here and you're probably the narrowest so we might go with your width on front okay so now what I want to do is I'm going to lose you. I'm going to lose a lot of you. That's okay though. We'll just roll with it because I'm going to be doing some trimming. I'm going to be making the three hearts all at once. I'm going to fold these creases nice and sharp. I'm going to use a fancy schmancy paper clip and we're going to flop that on there and now we're going to cut our heart. Now this is not so hard. Work with me here. I'll show you some uh, easy tips. Now it's uh, sometimes helpful to have the shortest one in front. So you can see where you need to be trimming at and um, you can draw a line if you wish first but I'm just going to hand cut it. I'm going to start from the maybe where the picture starts. Yeah that's a good spot and I'm going to sort of head to three o'clock. Okay now I'm thinking about okay I don't want this too wide but I can always shave some off so that's okay. Hold them all together nice and snuggies and then come around the mountain and then as you're coming home you want to do a sharp divot down that kind of makes it more hearty shaped and I can see I've squared it off a little bit made a sharp divot down there make it a little rounder okay so let me just check my remember um, this is one two three and a bit so if I open these up these are going to be six and a half so they're going to be quite a bit larger than what I need so I need to go back in and refine my cut a little bit and uh, this will help you gauge how wide, how, how wide to make your little hearts. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to come in along here and so I'm going to shave off some of that edge. So down here is okay, but let me, let me hold it well, hold them all together. Use the bigger scissors. Okay, bringing him in. Same idea on the top and then that sharp little divot at the end. Okay, makes for a nice hearty shape. Now if you just hold it down on the mat you're going to be able to see how long you are. You're at one, two and a half which would be five. 
which would work on my five and a half inch page. Uh, so I am good to go with that. Let me just see how big these are. Oh, they actually came out pretty nice. Okay, so we have these. And now is a good time to ink them if you're going to ink them to give them a little more pop and pizzazz. And you know how we like the pop and pizzazz around here. You can do any colors you like. Um, let me maybe do pink this time. I'm going to do pink and I have some worn lipstick because that's what I have handy in my little pink dauber. And all the links are down below. I, uh, check out my Amazon store if you just want to do one click below. Click on the thing that says the Amazon store link and you can see all the pictures of everything at once. And it just might be easier for you to find stuff. And there are some individual things listed below, but if you, you may not see everything there because I'm limited by space what I can put there. Okay. Actually, you don't need to do the bottom of these because the, the only one you need to do the bottom of is the one that's going to be showing in the front. So I think we're going to have you be the front. So we're just going to put a little on you here. It doesn't show up that great on the... Uh, magazine page here but uh we still get some we get some action around there that's good we like that okay and how about you okay so we only need to do the top part and only one side okay there we go now let's say we're going to arrange them like this or maybe we want to arrange them like this this time yeah, maybe I'll do that this time just for fun, just for something a little bit different. And um, you can, if you have a sewing machine, you can sew down the edges and that will connect them all and it will leave the pockets empty. So you can do that. Uh, but if you don't have um, a sewing machine uh, or you just want to glue them, you can totally glue them. I would recommend turning it over and kind of deciding where you want them to sit. Decide the first one. Okay, and then take your glue. I'm using Art Glitter Glue here. Great uh, wet white glue that grabs fast. And you want to see where this uh, top piece touches the bottom. And you just want to have a little dabble do ya right there. Of course, try not to move it like I just did. Boom, put that down. And then come on over here and see where they touch. You don't want to go too far in because you're going to narrow your pocket size. Okay, and then here, you're going to do the same thing. So a little dabble do you there, down, a little, where is it touching there? Dabble do you there, down, okay, that doesn't use much glue, right? Pretty economical too, using up book pages, uh, using up our scraps. I actually pulled these out of my scraps, so using up the scraps today, awesome. Okay, now here you just wanna, you wanna come in and double check, if see if everybody's lined up right. If they're not lined up right, just, I'm using the fold in the middle as my lined up right guide. And you can, you have like a second, a second, literally a second or two to realign them. All right. So we have that. And I'm just going to put, a because this is a shiny picture, and I just want to knock that back a bit, a little bit of this clear gesso. Any clear gesso will do. Um, and uh, just rub that on there to quickly take away the shine of the paper. Quick and easy trick anybody can do. This is texture gesso, but there's also clear gesso with no texture in it, um, and both will work. Okay, there we go. Okay, now we want to zhuzh it up a little bit, and I'll just show you what I did here. I had a little rosette from this actual piece of paper that I just cut out, or not a rosette, it's like a petunia or something, and I stuck it on there, so let's do that next. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm traveling around the scraps on my desk, and this one I think had these on it. So I am just going to nip this out and how much I don't want it too big. All right, let me just get the, my general shape here and I can always re-nip and shrink it down if need be. I am the world's worst fussy cutter, um, uh, but I will do it if need be. Okay, you can also do stickers and stuff like that here. Uh, that would work, but we're just gonna do an option today. I want to show you different things. Okay, I'll just make it a little smaller. Okay. And turn the paper, not the scissors. Apparently is the trick. I've never mastered it. Um, okay, that can go here. It can go, oh, that looks kind of cute, actually. For some reason, I like that there, there. Okay, we're going to do that. And uh, there, there. How about that? <laughs> I'm just going to ink it up a little bit so it pops a little bit more. 
from the background. Uh, how did I have that? I'm just looking so cute there a second ago. Or did I have it the other way? That's kind of cute that way. Yeah, I like that, right? Like that. Okay, let me just try and remember that position. Oh, take this out. Look, I can I can hold multi pins on there. Yeah. On that little magnet idea for the glue bottle. Awesome idea. Came from a subby. Thank you so much. You've changed my world. <laughs> we all learn from each other here. And that is awesome. So much knowledge out there. Oh my goodness. And, uh, you know, if you think it, try it and let us know how it goes because we're, we're, we're all ears. Trust me. Um, okay, so we have that. So now I have this and this is kind of plain. Maybe I want to put a little pizzazz, a little something there. And, oh, I've got some of her Edith Holden's pretty printing here. Maybe I can borrow some of that and just put it there. Let me do that. And it doesn't even have to make sense. Sometimes we feel compelled to get the whole sentence, get this or that. No, no, you can just take a, a chunk of writing. Uh, free yourself from that and uh, just tear off something that you find interesting. Maybe it's visually pretty to your eye and uh, that's all you need. You don't need the whole sentence. You don't need the whole book. Okay, maybe I'll put that there just for fun. All right, got a little more ink going on here. This is, I'm using brushed corduroy. Just an option, trying to use up some of the other inks that I have. I have a bajillion of them. I really, I really need to draw from the others. So here we go. Now here, you can also use the art glitter glue or you can use the uh, glue stick. This is my favorite. Um, and I just ran across the top, Scotch Create glue stick. And uh, there, I'm just gonna put that there for eye appeal. And now, as you saw with this one, I did some faux stitching, which is just done with a little black marker. And I also used, at the bottom, because I had a darker image, I also went, I went first with the black, but I wanted it to pop more, so I used a white gel pen. And I can show you those, hang on. Okay, these are the ones that I'm using, Jelly Roll, Focus, okay, and Faber-Castell, I'll try rolling it so you can see all sides, but there, I think there's links for these down below too if you're looking for them, but okay, so the first top one, I just did a straight stitch around, my faux straight stitch, uh, let me go a little closer so you can see, highly technical here, here we go, ready, doot, 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 uh, my videos come out Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. I'm not sure if I said that yet, but there you go. And Saturdays. Mondays, Wednesdays, Fridays, and Saturdays. And um, podcasts come out Tuesdays and Thursdays. And um, you can find me on Instagram, Twitter, LinkedIn, Pinterest. And we have a Facebook group. It's a lot of fun. Come and check it out. We have a great time doing weekly and monthly challenges and inspiring each other and answering each other's questions. Okay, now the second one. I did simple little X's to give it a little bit of a different look. So let me go ahead and do that. Um, and if you haven't gotten your free checklist, make sure that you get that at your free checklist for journal supplies and notes from note from the bookmaker. Um, there's a, a link below. Um, I put out, uh, yeah, this journal uh, supply list is something I've created over the years. I found it very helpful to ba go back and review different things that I can uh, collect along my little journeys to make journals. So much fun. It's about seven or eight pages long and uh, it's yours for free. And uh, it also included, includes a little note that I tuck inside every journal uh, called the note from the bookmaker that uh, helps to explain people, the recipient, what on earth a junk journal is and how it can be used. And um, let's see now for the bottom one, I, I did double, I did this one and this one. So let's do the black ones first. And I did straight stitching all the way around. Wait, prototype, prototype. Okay, won't be able to see it much on here, but I'll just do it to be complete. You can see it a little bit. The um, the gesso, the clear gesso, actually helps the pen grab onto the surface as well. Maybe I'll do this one with a bigger stitch. Yeah, this is was when Aunt Sally came over and she really wanted to go to town stitching. Okay, no two seamstresses are the same, and. Uh, and that's the way it goes. Okay, how are we on time? Oh, we've got lots of time, lots of time. Okay, coming down. Small mountain today. Yeah, it's an easy project. 
Sometimes you just need an easy project. I get that. I need easy projects sometimes too. And this is one of those days. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna use this jelly roll pen and just maybe get it started on another piece of paper or something. Just make sure it's flowing nicely and it is. So I'm um, just going to draw some white lines on this. Can you see that? Am I in shot? Yep, yeah. okay. Okay, so now it's not gonna show as much on the lighter stuff, but the black will take over there. Or you could just do the black, you know what I mean, like just do the black ones where it's light, light ones where it's black. Um, but I'm just coming around that old mountain. I'm not even sure they're exactly matching up, but we're doing our best. Yeah, can you see that? Okay, there we go. All right, we've got all our pups in line. Show up a little more there, okay. And now let me show you what it might look like in a book. Here we go. And very, very easy to do. Um, okay, let me back up a little bit so you can see better. All right. Let me show you different examples of pages that we look on. So here's on a whitish page, okay? And yeah, I just have enough room. So I wouldn't want to go any bigger than this. And this one for me is officially, I'm just measuring down here. This is about, at the widest part, it's five. So I probably would want to go four and a half, I would say would be a better measurement. This one will work. Um, I have cleared uh, the edge of the page. I'm on it. But even if it comes a little over, hey, that looks kind of cute too. Or you could even use the whole thing as a tuck if you wanted to tuck some things in the side. Oh, that would actually be very cute too. So let's say you make one that's a little too big. Don't, don't throw it away. Don't get rid of it. Don't destroy it. Just uh, use it as a tuck. So you could take, just glue this side down and then take your papers or whatever it is and you tuck them in there. Okay, fold them in half and stuff like that and then tuck them and it'll, it'll hold them. Uh, so another way to use these guys, but see, you can see what it looks like on a planer page or a more decorated uh, page. There's an eco dyed page. Let's see if you can see how it looks on different pages. A pinky page. So there's a lot of great uses for these guys and so many different ways that you can use them. And let me just give you a little bit of others on a book page. You can do that. Here's a uh, blue page. That's kind of pretty. Um, but let's also, I want to show you. Okay, so here's a pink page. That's sort of pretty. Um, show you what it's like when it has some things in it. So what you would do on the back, you would run your glue down here and down here. So you would leave the openings all open so that your pockets will function and then you would glue that down and then you have pockets galore to tuck your little goodies in and uh, you could put pictures in here all sorts of things a myriad of ideas there we go so I hope you like that. That was a lot of fun. Great way to use up some, use up some scraps and um, you can do so or no so. And it also decorates a journal page. So there you go, everybody. I hope you had fun here today. And this was a lot of fun for me. Let me think if there's anything else I needed to tell you. All my playlists are listed down below the video. Um, so if you're following a, a series like the journal pages series, how to do a journal page layout or um, how to construct a journal, journal construction uh, ideas or using up book pages or maybe you're following the alphabet challenge or um, all sorts of fun things, uh, definitely uh, check down below. Oh, and also I put uh, some of the links to the playlist at the end of every video so they're easy to find. Um, a little tip. I know uh, this may seem uh, simple, but uh, a lot of people get confused with this part. How do you find um, my channel? And the easiest way to find the channel is if you, if you're, you know, you Google, uh, you know, not Google, but you go to YouTube and you put in the paper outpost, it's going to take you to a page with some of my stuff. And, uh, but if you want to find the whole channel and everything that I offer, go, I'm trying to, I'm trying to put the pin back in here. Um, click, see where the, the little uh, goofy picture of my face is down at the bottom left of the video and the word, the paper outpost, the words, click on the words. When you click on the words, that takes you to the official paper outpost channel. And then you're going to see a layout that will give you choices. You can click on at the top um, underneath the picture. You're going to see videos, playlists, um, community, things like that. So click on videos. If you want to see every single video I've ever posted, that's the best way to go through everything. Um, if you want to see playlists and all the playlists there, you can click there and then you can just, you'll see only the playlists. You click on the playlist you want to watch and then it'll, it'll show you all the options for that playlist. Um, so that's just a little tip or trick in case you didn't know that. And also, uh, if you were on your phone, 
and you're looking for the description box, usually, at least on my Android, there's a little a golden arrow that's pointing down below the picture of the video uh, on the right and you click on that and that opens up a drop down uh, that's where your drop down description box is on the uh, uh, Samsung Am and like the Android phone my husband who has the iPhone he said it's it says more or something like that and you have to click on more and that's how you get the description box to open up that's where all the links are to the stores and stuff like that and what else um, uh, oh, and uh, if you're looking where, how do I comment on the phone? Uh, if you, at least on the Android, if you scroll all the way to the bottom, you're going to scroll past the video, the description box, if you've dropped it down, go, go past that, keep scrolling. Then you're going to see a bunch of suggested videos, scroll below that, keep going. And at the very bottom are the comments. And that's where you can post your comment and things like that. So I hope that helps. Just some uh, ideas there I thought I'd share with you. Remember that fun can be simple. Create with reckless abandon and make some heart pockets because they are awesome and they're so much fun and they're very handy. Take care everyone. Bye-bye.